My name is Dr. Syed Naveed Azum. I'm a consultant gastroenterologist at Columbia Health Hospital in Hebal. When we talk about symptoms of IBD, we need to uh, make a distinction between the first type and the second type. When we're talking about ulcerative colitis, this is generally speaking diarrhea with mucus or blood in the stools with sometimes crampy abdominal pain. The diarrhea can be uh, you know variable, it can vary from day to day and over a period of time the patients start to feel more and more unwell because unlike infective diarrhea which can be self-limiting or which easily resolves with a short course of antibiotics diarrhea from inflammatory bowel disease i.e. ulcerative colitis continues to be troublesome unless it's diagnosed and treated appropriately with regards to crohn's disease the symptoms are a little bit more subtle and it's more difficult to suspect crohn's disease as sometimes there's no diarrhea at all uh, most of the patients have abdominal pain and over a period of time there is malnutrition uh, if there's an extensive involvement of the small intestine. Sometimes there could be diarrhea with bleeding as in ulcerative colitis but generally speaking we talk about poor appetite, bloating, abdominal pain, sometimes vomiting and uh, unfortunately in some cases patients do present with acute intestinal obstruction which is a blockage in the intestine which uh, is a difficult situation for people who had Crohn's disease. And when we do some evaluation, there could be a lot of nutritional problems including anemia, low proteins, low calcium levels which can have a knock-on effect on bone health and general metabolic health.